Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined here with Stevenson head football coach Ed Hoddle. And coach, you went up to uh, Wilkes last week and um, got back in the win column with a 44-12 win, kind of uh, back and forth game to start, and then you guys pulled away in the second half. Um, take us through the game a little bit. Uh, definitely a slow start. You know, we've we've got to figure out how, how to come out of the gate fast. Um, or faster than we have been, and and credit to them, you know they did a nice job game planning us, they did a nice job scheming us up, and you know we didn't execute particularly well in the first quarter and a half or so. So it took us a little bit to get going, but once we did, we felt like we were able to, you know, execute the game plan on both sides of the ball as well as, as, as in special teams, and really it was it was a team win, and, and it was exciting to go on the road and get a win in, in a place that's it's tough to play up there. It's, it's our, one of our longest trips of the year. Um, the environment's a little bit different than what we're used to. So, you know, for the guys to go up and, and, and perform to the level that we did, I think, was, was a step forward. Yeah, on the offensive side of the ball, a couple records. Uh, Dan Williams, again, broke his own record passing over 400 yards. Uh, Preston had over 200 yards receiving, first time that's been done in program history. And then, um, you know, a 90-yard completion from Dan to uh, Devin Salisbury for a touchdown. Um, you just talk about the offense and when it's clicking, how – how well it operates. Uh, it's an explosive group, but I think what is worth noting is how much time those guys spend together out of season. Um, you know, working on things in the summertime, working on things you know through the spring. You know, they spend a, a significant amount of time with one another and 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 working those relationships and those feels, and, and it shows in in game. And uh, Coach Larson does a great job getting those guys in space and getting the ball to them in space and letting them be who they are. You know, Preston's a very very explosive player. You know, in my opinion, probably one of the more explosive players in the conference as well as in the country. And, you know, the things he's able to do with the football in his hands are, are very, very dynamic. I think he went over 300 yards, you know, all purpose on right. Saturday, which I think I don't know that we've ever had anybody go over right. 300 all purpose yards uh, in, in the history of the program. So to watch him is very exciting. You know, Devin's just. He's just a guy, you know. He's he's the guy that can do anything that we ask him to do, and you know him having the the you know the, the ninety yard reception doesn't surprise me. I think if you know going back and looking at that play on film, you know that's all eleven guys doing exactly what they need to do at exactly the right times, and you know I, I probably have watched that play twenty or twenty five times just because it is. Just such an example of what we can do when everybody's on the same page. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the play, obviously he just kind of threw out in the flat and, you know, the blocking and everything was mm -hmm. there. And then he was just able to get a burst of speed and beat everybody down the field. Absolutely. You, you look at, the, you know, Preston had a great block. Kilo had a great block. Um, Manny had a great block downfield. You know, we've, we've got a 300-pound offensive lineman throwing a great block 15 yards downfield. Yeah. You know, and that's the kind of things that, that, that we need to do to be successful. You know, you look at that play again and – you know, even the blocking on the back side of the play, one of the biggest hits of the game was Sebastian on a crack to the smoke on the other side. You know, again, all 11 guys doing exactly what they need to do. Yeah. And then on the defensive side of the ball, um, Hanif Jones missed a couple games. He came back in a big way on Saturday with 15 tackles and was just all over the field. Special performance by Hanif. Um, you know, you look at him early in the first quarter, and his head was spinning a little bit. Some of his alignments weren't where we needed him to be. And once he got it kind of figured out a little bit, um, he was definitely a dynamic force out there. You know, things that he was able to do. Um, you know, the the sack and and, and the and the strip and then the, and the recovery of the strip and um, you know some of the the physical plays that he made were. You know, I think just a snapshot of what he's capable of doing, um, it, you know, as we move along in, in his career. I think another name you got to look at on defense is Kyle Bergen. He went out and had over 40 production points for us. It's, it's kind of in our grading system yeah. and, you know, blocks two kicks, scoops a fumble and runs, you know, has six or seven tackles. You know, again, another guy that has really worked hard to build himself into the player that he's becoming. Yeah, and then on special teams, you know, we've talked about a couple of times, but uh, Ian Gould, again, you know, three field goals, remain perfect on the year and extra points. We're not talking about that at this point, Greg. Okay. It's the it's the it, it's the top. I just him. It's the top of the ninth inning yeah, of I a no hitter. Him. We're not talking about it. But Ian's just been, uh, you know, a picture of consistency all year. You know, when we've put him in situations to be successful, he's he's answered the call. You look at the the two the two field goals that he's missed this year. One was forty five yards into the wind, and the other one we had blocked. So. You know, when we protect him and we put him in situations where he can have success, he's certainly delivered. Yeah. Now, shifting gears to this week, um, final game of the regular season, Lycoming comes here to Mustang Stadium. 
Um, what do you have to do to be successful in that game and to secure a winning season? I think it's the focus coming out of the tunnel to start the game. We've got to, we've got to start fast, and we've got to maintain a high level of execution in all three phases, you know, four, four quarters. And that's kind of been our message all year, and I think we're getting better at it. Um, you know, I think we're growing up as a football program. You, you know, you see guys that are excited, you know, for their teammates that are making plays. You see guys that are, you know, really focused in practice. You know, we've had two great days of practice so far this week, and, you know, the guys seem to be locked in and, and, and excited about an opportunity to send our seniors out on, on Saturday. Yeah, and talk about that senior class. Obviously, senior day after the game, honoring, I think, 14 seniors. Mm -hmm. um, you know, talk about what this senior class has meant to the program. Uh, you know, it's a great group of guys. You, you know, very charismatic, um, really been instrumental in, in, in helping us build the program to where it is today. And, um, you know, these guys came in in 2014 and right at the beginning of, of the, uh, you know, mm -hmm. the program starting to have some legitimate success. And they've done a nice job maintaining that success. And, you know, the hope is that, that Saturday we can go out and, and play hard for those guys and, and send them out the right way. All right, well, great. Thanks a lot, Coach. Uh, we wish you the best of luck on Saturday. We hope to see everyone here at Mustang Stadium, 12 o'clock uh, against Lycoming. For Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Ed Hoddle Show.